When the moon hits your eye, like Deadpool makes you cry, that's Amore. When the battle realm shines so bright, like you've been playing all night, that's Amore. Battle cries will ring, ra 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 And you'll yell, oh come on! Hearts will play, tippy tippy tay, tippy tippy tay, like contest summoners. When, no, no, no. No, I can't, can't go any further, I can't. This is... It's not how I wanted to start this video. You odd people, you, with your songs and your ways. Hello, yes. Right, so, bit of a follow-up video, very quick follow-up video, and Love is a Battle Realm for one, and also some other details and breakdowns of side event rewards, because that's what I wanted to see. Unfortunately, it wasn't in my details that I get given by Kabam to kind of look through. So, it's on the forums, links in the description, as always. I just wanted to compare off what we've been uh, given. It looks like a pretty decent enough event, especially with these additional Shattered Heart Crystal Shards. The big thing about these Crystal Heart, crystal heart Shards, Shattered Heart Crystal Shards, is whether or not they are going to have ones that are similar to like the one last month. You know, the ones we get to choose, like the Sexenium one or the other ones from various different times. But you got like the perspective of Cavalier Crystals, which let's face it, we want to see because they give better stuff and, you know, what, three, four, five star Grandmaster style ones. Which last time those Shattered Heart Crystal Shards were all about. That would be the big thing as to like where they um, where they are. Uh, details wise on them, well it says here, it says like how to get them. Which is collect uh, from event quests, use them to purchase featured hero Crystal Shards, Grandmaster Shattered. Um, or, ah, good. Ah, there we go. There we go. Featured Hero Shattered Heart. Grandmaster Shattered, so uncollected and up. Or Cavalier Shattered Heart Crystals, Cavalier and up from the Romance Store. Yes. Well done, Kabam. This was the thing that I was worried about, that there wouldn't be one that would be in keeping with players' advancements. So, yeah, I'm glad they're doing a Cavalier Shattered Heart Crystal, which is going to be great. And you can purchase from the Romance Store. Ah, oh, love. It's bloody lovely, isn't it? Love. <laughs> but look, I think this is a really good month from what they've put on. We can also see what we get from the Valentine's card and event. Gifting event. It's not really a gifting event, but it's... Okay, it's a gifting event per se. It's it's a thing, right? And what you get from uh, from there is still very much uh, unknown of what that, that gives. Earn Valentine's cards, love is about around 4 and 1, side rewards, da -da -da. use Valentine's tickets to purchase Valentine's cards. If we are Alliance members and friends, gifting uh, cards awards points towards the Valentine's gifting solo event. So the Valentine's gifting solo event, uh, which is, well, that's the Romance Arena solo event. Is it the same thing? I don't know. I, hope, I wonder if there's like something else additional to this. There we go. So it's all in a bit of skew where everything is. But you get uh, self-love boosts. Disgusting. Uh, I think you get love juice in other places. God damn you, Kabam, you dirty people. And I thought I was dirty. Anyway, Shattered Heart Shards, get tier 3 basics, blah, 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 blah. Six Star Shards, 1,000. Nice, because that really adds into a huge amount for the month. Not a massive amount. We're not talking like, wow, 10,000. But still enough that, you know, you go, this is all right. A tier 2 alpha, fully formed. Fantastic. A really solid month for, for awards and stuff. That's not overly complicated. That's something to bear in mind there. It's not overly complicated. Which, let's face it, the month of January has certainly been that. But in any case, it looks like there's something else like 7-day Valentine's Day uh, logging calendar. It's all on love. We get love as a battle realm as well. So the love and the battle, love as a battle realm is the side event. And uh, just having a look at the, this here... Uh, loves in the air, help your favourite uh, anti-hero tune every week, next three weeks to watch how the love story unfolds. So it could be a case we do this on a weekly basis. So that's cool, it's nice to have like the, those things on week, like one week you do one, second week, the third week, blah, fourth week, blah, you know, get the idea. And also we got got, um, uh, find who among your champions are romantically inclined and use the romance synergy to activate the power of love buff for your team. Never forget to also shower yourself with the with all the TLC your heart can muster, and feel free to use your self love boost, which is pretty cool. It does help out 
with uh, that particular synergy arc of uh, the romance. For a limited time, I find Deadpool's concoctions if of affection, aka love juice potions, in the store for an health extra health boost. Collect uh, the shards to complete events and more. So those boosts, where are they? Where are those lovely boosts? Which I've probably skipped past. Uh, so power of love, there we go. And the love juice. So if under the influence of a romance synergy, any reflected stun does not trigger, each failed stun reflection in this fashion will trigger the power of love buff and grant the attacker permanent passive. With self-love boost active, all champions will get this benefit. In addition, the self-love boost provides a power gain buff each time the power of love buff is triggered. The power of love. Uh, the power of love. It's a curious thing. Oh, God, these songs, man. Like, I, you know, I've got a very kind of like normal lifestyle, but songs just get in my head. Sometimes I feel like singing them. Either way, nothing's been said about like repeating the different difficulties, whether or not you're set to one specific difficulty, which could be a case that you could pick up. Like you could go for legendary and epic, and epic gives love juice, six star hero shards, uh, tier five basics, catalyst, five star hero crystal shards, shattered out crystal shards. To be honest, you might even feel like you want to do all of them. And let's face it, for me personally, I'm all about the same thing that I did with the um, the epoch crystal shards. I'm all about the grind. And I will be more than likely grinding out for the various different types of difficulties to guarantee myself as much Shattered Heart, Shattered Heart Crystal Shards as possible. But the good thing about this is it's also an arena. Now it doesn't say on the arena itself, where is it? Info on the, yeah, Romance Arena. So it says in the Romance Arena that milestones will have, st like it says, milestones only, no rank rewards. But it doesn't say the volume that you'll be able to get because it could be a, it could be a case if that's broken down the extent of you going right well I can actually get loads of crystal shards and that's the thing this is like the month of uh, December all over again which I love the more epoch shards you grind the more opportunities you has, have against these kind of special crystals and even if you're gonna get like a, an increased chance of uh, spinning crystal to get like a six star man I'm, I'm all about that I'm all about that grind so what else is said here? So earn points by defeating and using Romance Energy Champions in the arena for any arena. Note, defeating champions with the Romance, it's complicated, just friends, until Death to Us Parts Energy in regular arena will also count. Nice. In other words, defeat any champion on the list and will count towards the solo event. Absolutely bloody lovely. So yeah, here's the full list here of champions, which you can, um, you know, I don't know, print screen. I mean, it's on the forums for you to check out. But there's a whole host. It looks like Tigra and uh black widow yeah tiger is the number one with the amount of synergy compare comparisons and kind of link ups but then you know there's there's many champions like human torch domino and then daredevil black widow that have um links with the uh romance synergies and the various different types of uh partner champions or what else so it's like it's good to see that these got these uh, romance champions are in play Either way, next month or the next update, I'm, I'm really looking forward to. This doesn't even include information about the Lunar event. And that's going to be the big thing, is going like, well, what does that add to the month? Because that could add more shards, more units, and, and something more to this. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what this month has. This feels to me like a, a mini, less labor-intensive, well, I say it's more grindy. Look, I just say this is like, reminds me a little bit of December. It's just got that vibe of a lot of things on, but it's not exactly the case of like we've got variants, a new um, like Act 7, a new kind of thing to kind of like do. This is all about just like lots of little things to do. And I'll tell you what, I enjoy those things. I really do, especially when it feels like you're making more progress to stuff as opposed to say this month, which was like you feel like you grind over grinding for something that's like just a minuscule thing that you're looking to pick up. With this, it feels like I'm, I'm working for something and getting something back as an instant thing. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm like dang, things dangle in front of me. The uh, the carrots dangled in front of me, and I'm like eating the carrot as soon as I feel like I've done something, which is nice. I feel like that's uh, that's that's pretty cool and definitely a massive improvement the last month. So yeah, uh, I'm all up for this. Cannot wait. And uh, thoughts on this this event coming next week in the comment section down below. And we are waiting for the lunar event as well. Also keep locked to the channel for more information that's gonna be dropped over the weekend and as well going into next week. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out some other content located up there and also get yourself informed with stuff that's going down. Richest Realm for Marvel Realm of Champions content and I'll see you all very soon, bye bye.